Back at another reaction video. Thick model exposed the entire industry after catching herpes. The herpes. Dang, let's get into it. So this online Bob Denae Davis has ruined her life being completely fast and loose, but now she wants us to feel sympathy for it. Denae Davis origin stories, I'm not kidding, is being passed around by various content creators. Her whole shtick at some point was, I will sleep with Lil Mike, Deshae, Ron Sumo, get passed around and that's essentially like you know what made her popular and famous and as expected right on cue once Danae Davis turned 18 years old she decided that she was going to take the natural progression of an e-girl instead of getting a job going to college going to trade school being a productive taxpaying member of society she was going to start slinging coochie online for a dollar and showing pictures of her Libya for $5.99 on OL. <laughs> so she decided to start doing that, living a fast life. And she went from essentially a content creator being passed around to a real online bop. Somebody who was slinging coochie for a living. As she embarked on her empowering journey of getting her cheeks clapped and face painted like Picasso by various male corn stars, her supporters filled her with... Yas Queen, Yas Mother Chance, she began to feel empowered. Even her own mama was supporting the journey of a young Bob. Even her own mama was supporting her bad decisions. Like, nobody stopped to tell this 18 year old girl, hey, bruh, like, you're not just in the corn industry, you're in the most unregulated sector of the corn industry. You see, you're not a part of a professional studio or network that requires testing, and you're not filming with other professional creators. No, you're in the underground OF ghetto hub of corn. Essentially, what you're doing, bro, is you're sleeping with any guy with an OF account and a camera. There's no regulations for testing. It's none of that. And what you're doing is you're putting your health at risk. But... You know, who was going to tell her that? Her own mama was supporting her doing it. I'm so, Listen, I'm assuming the bills were being paid and she wasn't even going to ask any questions as to how safe her daughter really was. Now, it looks like all the bad decisions have finally caught up to Danae because Danae is now taking to social media to cry and weep uh, for our sympathy because her bad decisions have finally caught up with her. Now, Danae first started by speaking in third person. She took to her TikTok account to announce that one of the creators that she filmed with was giving girls an uncurable disease. Um, I'm here to tell you guys that uh, allegedly Gucci Third Leg is out here giving people HSV2, that is genital herpes. If you collab with him and then found out a month to three months later that you have genital herpes, there's a high likelihood that you got got by that man. Um, please go get tested if you did have any collaborations with him. I know a lot of people are being insensitive and saying like, oh, he fucks everybody raw. How are you surprised? Um, stuff like that is not always common knowledge. And another thing is there are several niches on social media. So uh, a lot of people aren't aware of his gross or abusive ways um, until they actually experience it. They don't see it on social media. So I'm going to say this a couple times on my platform to make sure that the word gets out because I have now a big platform. Gucci. I've been waiting for this. So she started off by speaking in third person and saying allegedly because all of a sudden she grew what this thing called shame was. You see, when she was getting her back blown out on these like miscellaneous websites and Twitter, she ain't have no shame then. But all of a sudden she grew shame once she caught an uncurable disease. So she's speaking in third person. Eventually, bruh, she just confessed, man, and said, yes, he gave it to me. Yes, I'm one of Gucci's victims. I'm just gonna say, yes, he gave it to me. It's devastating to have to come on here and share that whenever I was 19 years old, Gucci third leg burned me with HSV2. And he told me that he was gonna send me his test results and he never did. And it saddens me to hear that he's done this to so many girls. And there's girls with so many similar stories to me and they're so young. He done this to so many girls. Sound like an she sound like an actual, you know, an actual victim. She making real victims look bad. These are the type of women right here that will mess around and find out later. And then just play the oh yeah. He did this to me without telling me, you know, what he had. He wasn't clean, but you wasn't clean either.
You was throwing your body around, get passed around. See, it's these are the type of girls that will not mess with no nice guy. They will mess around with the worst type of dudes and start crying online because now they got an uncurable transmitted diseases, you know, that they cannot undo. And they want to cry online. Oh, he done this to so many girls. I mean, you chose to, you know, mess around and find out. See, it's all fun and games until somebody get hurt. It's all funny until it's not funny no more. Young as well. He is preying on the young. He is preying on the new. And I'm so sorry for not saying this seven months ago. I was scared and I was making so much money. I just, <laughs> I can't keep beating around the bush because you guys think I'm lying. And he can't ruin anybody else's life. I didn't know. I didn't know. There's something very concerning about what she just stated. She stated she found out seven months ago in March, but she kept quiet because she was just making a lot of money from the films with Gucci and other films, and she didn't want that money to stop coming in. So she continued to film with other creators, and she let them know secretly, A, hey, I have this, but there's a very slim chance that you will get it if I'm not on an outbreak. And the ones who were comfortable went in raw, and the ones who weren't comfortable used a condom. But she concealed this information, man. Like, she could have saved a, a ton of lives, bro. Yo, she could have saved a lot of other women, but she kept it a secret because she wanted to make a quick buck. That don't sound like some innocent victim with clean hands, bro. That sound like a willful participant after you found out, bro. Right? Like, you're the reason why a lot of other women got it as well. Now, again, like, let's not let Gucci off the hook. He's a monster. Gucci is a monster. If he's out here concealing the fact that he has this disease and he's giving it to random women, he's a monster and he needs to be in jail. I'll say it, bro. He needs to be locked up if this is true. This is bad. Very bad. Now, do I particularly feel sorry for a 19-year-old who wanted to be fast and grown and wanted to make money the cheap way? So she started sleeping with men who is openly online admitting that they got 3,000 bodies. I, I, so last year, last year my body count was like 3,100, 3, but I was really, I, I didn't feel too bad about it because my ex chick down in the body had like 2,000 or whatever, but so it was like when, when I was dealing with my chick, she couldn't really be like, oh, your body count's too much because her body count like 2,000. My body count like 3,000, so it's like, damn, like I didn't feel too, too bad about it. Honestly, I feel like, I wouldn't feel comfortable eating from the same pan as somebody with 3,000 bodies, yet alone letting that person enter into your body unprotected. To me, this is not victim blaming. This is stupidity blaming. If you're just a stupid person, bruh, like, then I feel like we should save our sympathy for somebody who is, you know, had a little bit smarts to them. All right, so when, you know, she's on TikTok yelling and screaming, you would pay Uluwa Tolson. Listen, man, it comes in one ear, goes out the other. I'll be real, bro. I know the people that already have it know exactly what I'm talking about, but whenever you realize and find out that you have something as severe as that, it, it's heartbreaking. It causes you to go through an immense amount of trauma and depression. I was going through so much at the time, and I've already gone through so much, so at the time, it was very hard for me to speak up about anything. I do fully disclose anybody that I have sexual interactions with, I tell them before. <sighs> Nobody is made underwear. I, you guys can demonize me, whatever, but I'm sorry hearing these girls sob and not know what to do because for a while they didn't know if that's what was going on it's so sad because the agency does not make you test talent testing does not make you test for herpes that is one of the only things that they don't make you test here's why this is horrifying news for the industry this guy gucci has been with almost every OF, Instagram model, Twitter chick, and he has filmed it, right? It's all online. Usually when a Twitter or an Instagram chick want to get into the OF or, you know, the corn industry, they film with Gucci, and that's how they get their foot in the door. So if he has herpes and he has given it to all these chicks and he has filmed with all these chicks, well, now all these chicks is off limits. And that's horrifying news for the industry, bro, because if you a rapper, if you a content creator, bro, then you know... Like, you know the secret, bro, that 
a lot of these chicks who are on OF, like your favorite Twitter hat demon, yo, they all slang in Kochi for a price. Outside of corn, bro, their supplemental income, bro, is they out here slang in Kochi for a price, right? If it's, let's say, the 6th of the month, and they still got about a good 25 days to pay rent, bro, the Kochi probably going for 1500 If it's the 27th, and they got a solid four days to come up with rent, bro, the, the coochie going for 500 And a lot of rappers and content creators, bro, are indulging in paying these OF and these Twitter chicks and these head demons, you know, for some coochie. So if this is true and he's giving all these chicks some coochie, bro, yo, it's about to be a cold winter. Because where's the coochie coming from, bro? You feel me? The regular girls really try to be courted. These are only demons, bro. We can give like 500 to, man, and pipe out. For nothing. And they all doms. Now, this chick, you know, Danae, took her stupidity to a whole new level on Twitter. And she sort of went from plausible deniability to just, oh, use a dummy. Because she took the to Twitter to further explain how Gucci tricked her into filming while having the disease. So she takes the Twitter with proof, and the proof just makes her look incredibly worse. So she says, this should be all the proof y'all need. I'm mortified and ashamed that I didn't come and say it back in March when I got that positive result. Sadly, it's my fault that y'all are coming to me saying he burned you. He lied to me and said he cut himself while shaving. So think about it for a second, all right? So she's filming with Gucci. He pulled out his pen. She takes control. And before she puts it in her mouth, she sees a bunch of bumps on it. And she's like... Uh, what is this? And he says, oh, I just cut myself. And he still hadn't sent her no test results yet. And she said, oh, okay, cool. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today, I will recommend a... Ex Throw Goblin. And it's kind of like, bro, like, why would you... Like, but why would you continue after you've seen a lot of bumps on it? So she goes, he told me he sent me his test results and never sent them. I was 19 and naive, brand new to collabing. I was only shooting with partners. I was scared of losing all the money. That doesn't mean anything to me now. I reposted events to milk the money that I felt like he owed me. He changed my life forever. I was speaking in third person because I was too afraid of what could come. But I can't stand and let people think I'm just lying Gucci third leg, you were burning hell for what you did to me and these young women. There seems to be a trend of the girls he's burning. We're all new to the OF content collaboration game. Or 19 to 22 years of age, I'll drop the full story when I'm ready. So her proof that she showed, the link she dropped, and she also posted videos. So she does a close-up of the video where it shows the visible lumps and bumps on the dude's love muscle, on his penis, as she's putting it in her mouth and taking it out. So she willingly did this. Like, 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 like yo, 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 I'm... <laughs> now listen, bro. If he lied to her, he's a scumbag and he should be in jail. But we should feel sorry for a young woman who decided to make money the easy way and to get the quick buck. <laughs> and you seen all the signs there were. And you didn't get a test results. And you seen he had lumps on him. And you still sucked it and allowed him to F you raw? Mm -mm -mm. Again, man, we not victim blaming. We is stupidity blaming. This is insane. Now, a lot of people were questioning her. A lot of people had the same concerns that I had. And she did respond back to a few of them on her Twitter. So here's what she had to say to a lot of the critiques. You saying everybody saw it is insane. If I didn't expose that lesion yesterday, nobody would believe me, bro. Nobody would still believe me. Bro, are you fucking serious? Y'all motherfuckers talking about everybody saw it. There was a hundred like, a hundred thousand likes on his video of him posting me. And he was burning me, bro. And then he kept posting me. So I kept posting because it just kept going viral. Nobody saw the lesion until I just zoomed in on on my Twitter yesterday. What's wrong with you bitches? Now, I wear glasses, but even I could see that massive alien object that was planted on... Oh, bro, it was too big to miss. Especially, bro, if there's a hundred lights and you got it right here to your face. Stop. Yo, there's no excuse 
for why you didn't see it. And you admit it, yo, you did see it. And you ignored it, all right? And you believe that he was just simply cut. Bro, a cut makes like an actual cut, a rash. A cut don't make a full bump, a lesion. And to do that without seeing the test results and don't use protection, yo, we have no sympathy for you, all right? Now, you know, we are thankful that you said this, all right? So now I know to stay away from any girl he ever piped. But also, too, man, so this could probably save a lot of other girls, right? So girls don't really fall into this trap, bro. You know, and I do think, man, that stories like this does need to be out here, bro. To let these girls yo, it's not quick money. It's not fast money. Um, it's not money that you're about to come across and make a quick buck from. The money comes with consequences. Yes, it does. And, this, and right, this is why the money is the root of all evil, bro. You need to be thinking about what you're doing before you do it, bro. Not all money is good money, bro. There are a lot of positive ways to get money. It may take time. It may take time. It may take a long time. But, hey, that's well worth the wait. Instead of doing something bad just to get a quick buck because that's going to hurt you in the end. It really will. That's nothing to play with, to be real with you. I'm, I'd rather just grind it out. Grind it out. Right here is just one of the consequences it could be a part of. The other one could be HIV. Ooh. The other one could be yo, a pariah. Ooh. The other one could be yo, once you're 35 and 40 years old, you have no other career options because you done did this online for True, true. Got a point. Hey, shout out to this man, bro. I like this dude. I like this dude's point of view. He know how to execute everything that he's getting a point across. Shout out to him. Um, that's it for this reaction video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.